I'm not worried about Trump as much as Trump supporters and his general people. He's just going to put it all behind us and just get on with it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Alexis serves up his distinctive mix of stand-up and surrealism. Alexis Hale's imaginary sandwich bar next Tuesday night at 11 on BBC Radio 4. BBC News at 7 o'clock. President Barack Obama says he's instructed White House staff to ensure a successful transition of power to Donald Trump. Mr. Obama, who campaigned for Hillary Clinton, said he wished Mr. Trump success in uniting and leading the country. This was a long and hard fought campaign. A lot of our fellow Americans are exalted today. A lot of Americans are less so. But that's the nature of campaigns. That's the nature of democracy. In her first public statement since losing the vote, Mrs. Clinton told her supporters to carry on fighting for the values and ideas they had campaigned for. She said they owed Donald Trump an open mind and the chance to lead. After the initial shock of the election result, stock markets in the US and Europe have reacted favorably to Mr. Trump's victory. Analysts say the conciliatory tone of his victory speech has allayed investors' fears. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has called on Mr. Trump to continue America's engagement in the world. He said he hoped Washington would help combat climate change and promote human rights. The United States is an essential actor, of course, the international agenda. People everywhere look to the United States to use its remarkable power to help lift humanity up and to work for the common good. In other news, at least seven people are now confirmed as having died after a crowded tram derailed in Croydon in South London during the morning rush hour. More than 50 others were taken to hospital, four of them with serious injuries. Investigators said the vehicle was traveling at a significantly higher speed than is permitted. The tram driver has been arrested. The head of the NHS in England says the British public will need to put their hand into their pocket if they want to see a continued growth in what the health service can do for each and every one of them. Speaking at a conference in London, Simon Stevens said the NHS was operating under highly constrained circumstances. BBC News. On BBC Radio 4. The whole point of the French state is to be a secular state. And if you don't like that, tough. That's to learn. Is the burgeoning Muslim population threatening French secular values? Or is the state out of touch and feeling besieged? The face of France is changing. I mean, we are not accepting that. I'm not going to decide what this country is going to The French Culture War. Tomorrow morning at 11.30 and then available on the BBC Radio 4 website. And Jazza raised Roy's morale in the Archers. And I bought some ice cream and cereal. Oh, we still play the autumn muesli. Taste the conkers. Oh, uh, well, never mind. You're set up for the morrow night. Oh, really? What's she called again? Jeanette. Oh, uh, the bonny one. Way out my leg. Probably, but she's got me a positive attitude. It's not so easy after last week's disaster with Lucy. I'm quite nervous, actually. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Especially after Saturday night. Oh, I don't know why me and Tom let you persuade us. I thought you wanted to go clubbing. We have to go there. It's because you've got happy memories of strutting your stuff on the dance bar in 1998. Hayley and I went there a few times. Aye, a lifetime ago. I wasn't to know it would be full of teenagers. I felt like a grander. Afternoon. Oh, all right, Adam. Aye, afternoon. It's not a school disco. Well, that's me done with club. That's the nice need to take advice for those in the door. Right. So, what do you mean today? Well, uh, that wine bar opposite the library. Well, I tell them, door should be straight in and out unless you make some big changes. Like what? 
How do you carry yourself? What are you talking?